This is a quick introduction to the Maxell Smart Batteries. Uh, so I have two of them here. They are lithium ion batteries, not LiPo, but lithium ion. Uh, these are 6S and uh, reported capacity on the box anyway of uh, 5500 milliamp hours. Um, these are smart batteries, so they can be connected uh, to the flight controller's um, I2C port. This is what the uh, connector looks like. Um, and it's got, I guess, uh, some pins for the actual um, power, but then it's got a couple of extra for the I2C connection. So, in this connector anyway, it's broken out to a DF13 4-pin I2C connector, which can go into the flight controller. So, what happens, the way it works is you, you know, you just slip the battery in, connects like that, uh, and if you want to release it, you pull this little tab up, and release it here, like that. It's got a little button on it as well so you can see easily the remaining capacity. Uh, because it's a smart battery, um, once we plug it into the vehicle it will be able to uh, read its voltage, its current, uh, individual cell voltages and temperature and also its serial number. So I'll connect it to this vehicle here. Uh, on this vehicle they're mounted both facing the same way so I have to do the back one first. There it is, it's already powered up. I'll plug in the next one. There we go. On this vehicle, um, we're using a Pixhawk 1, which only has a single exposed I2C port. Because both batteries use the same address, we can actually only get information from one of them. In this case, it's the back one. Um, another way we could have done it, I guess, is we could have used the smart connection for the back one and uh, the regular analog. Um, you know, power reader from for the for the front one, uh, or maybe if we're using a Pixhawk 2, uh, which has two I2C ports exposed, we could connect one to each one of them. Disconnecting it is just the reverse, of course. So I pull up the little tab on the front and slide it out. There we go. All right. So support for the smart batteries, uh, like I said, is in Copter 3.5. Um, the individual cell voltages and temperature and serial number, though, are going to be arriving in Copter 3.6.